I want to welcome you to uh, my first ever podcast. <laughs> the only podcast where you can actually sit down and a drink with somebody and um, oh God. talk about That's straight vodka. <laughs> that was water. You're just carrying this around with you? In truth, we are uh, at a Mexican restaurant, and we have both selected... Ah! The... Shark tornado! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> oh. oh, no! Ah! It's attacking! We both selected All right, it, the it went, it went away. Fanta Pina um, Oh, no, the, cu- the Kubrick birds, they're back! We're both drinking <laughs> Fanta Pineapples. This place is really great for its chips and salsa. Uh, the pico de gallo is fantastic. Yeah. Got myself here a burrito bowl, some beans and rice. Got to dig in, but enjoying the pico de gallo first. Nothing more important than good pico. Total of three listeners. <laughs> that sounds quite good. Yeah, I've never tried the pineapple, but um, I've never seen it before. What's the brand I like? Jones's. Jones. Yeah, Jones's pineapple. I've always liked. It. Wow. I haven't seen Jones outside of LA. Have we, have we got that in Toronto? I don't recall. I actually quite love this, the idea of a podcast. During lunch? Well, I just mean in general. Oh, in general. I don't know why. Well, because podcasts but are it so... It very much tickles my fancy. Yeah, they're so relaxing. No, I mean being on. I don't mean listening. Mm. Fuck that. <laughs> Creating one. Go. Oh. We're competing with uh, Conan O'Brien going head to head against him in his time slot. Oh, fully competing. Yeah. Yeah, we're neck and neck. Yeah. I should start off with a commercial. If we get Sonia to come over to ours, we got him. Oh. Oh, yeah. She's so sick of him. She's ready to leave him. What's uh, it's a good commercial they start off with over here. What, you're going to do a Coco. big sponsorship? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I know. Um, what's he call it? The uh, audio is going to be terrible, hey, by Bay the way. Hey, and feed, or... What? No, mains and main. Mizzen and main. Um, that's what you're thinking you. of. <laughs> Mizzen and main. Then if you get too chummy, we can always reference better help. I'm gonna do a fake uh, Irish accent, like. No, no, don't do that. Men and me. No, come on. A little leprechaun said you're not as Irish as Cohen. <laughs> He's genetically a hundred percent Irish, so he claims. Yeah, no, I don't think it's a claim. I think he's. I don't. Everything, anything that. But a hundred percent. He's not a liar. Okay, so anything Cohen 100. says. Yeah. Conan said his doctor said that means inbreeding. Yes. But how does that work? Well, it means... How are his parents related? That's what I'm getting. No, it means like for, you know, centuries people have bred in one area of Ireland. That's That qualifies as inbreeding. It doesn't have to be with your family. But... It might include extended cousins by accident. You know. Wow. But if you're just breeding over and over again with people in the same area of, of Ireland, then yeah, there could be some genetic issues over the centuries.
So what have you been working on lately? I saw you were restringing your Rory Gallagher guitar. <laughs> You're hilarious because I detect legitimate interest and a bit of persona. Well, you know. With that line of questioning. Right. Tell me what you're up to lately. <laughs> you just finished. Uh, yeah, so I restrung the production on the fourth season no, of no. Umbrella Academy. Oh, that's true. Fourth and final. How do you feel about that? Look, I don't start press yet. Don't, don't start it early. <laughs> I'm at lunch with my dad. How does it feel? <clears throat> well, in regards to the Rory Gallagher guitar, I just got more guitar stands. So actually, I've places to put the stands in my room besides the cases. You got That's six, why that came out. You got uh, a brand new stand with six empty slots. Does that mean no. you're going to buy six new guitars to fill it? <laughs> well, supposedly there's a bass on the way. Uh, so I'm hoping, I'm very excited for that to come by. Oh yeah. How are you uh, going to handle that? But Is also that be like, like a uh, box opening? Or? But also I just have had one guitar sort of laying on the ground in my room or music room uh, for a while so right. you know it allows me to keep more instruments out so I haven't seen that uh, the Rory uh, laminate out, guitar you picked up in Toronto the so yeah. laminate guitar? yeah the dark laminate that's in my music room right now okay love that guitar so what strings did you put on the Rory? on the Rory? Well, Aaron turned me on to uh, these nickel-plated, uh, I think they're like 10-gauge strings by Ernie Ball. And uh, that's what he uses on everything. He loves those, and I use them on all the electric guitars now. They're great. How would you describe the sound when you give up? I don't know that I, I can really hear the sound of the strings, but they definitely feel a certain way. Like they're uh, smoother to the touch. Aaron describes them as feeling sort of broken in, like they're. Oh yeah. You know, broken at first, in? well, at first strings are quite like tinny, right, and weird to play. Yeah. But then after like I don't know a week or so, you sort of break them in, and I think the sort of natural oils of the skin and you right. know, dirt and whatnot. That's cool. Helps boring the string. So he describes them as like, from the go, they're already sort of worn in. What brand of strings are these? I think Ernie, I don't remember that well. They didn't look like Ernie Ball. Well, do Ernie Ball have a look for their strings? Yeah, they're packaging. No, I'm pretty sure it's Ernie Ball. All right, doesn't that come in a white package? Green. Cream? Green. All right. Green? Yeah. Oh, all right. Do people eat on podcasts? Not yet. <laughs> I'm going to start it. That's for great art. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. Delicious. We sound like two characters from the Muppets. <laughs> the old guys up in the stands. Yeah. <laughs> They're always Those like, guys should have a podcast. <laughs> I swear to God. Those two old men just cracking jokes at everybody. Like, their wives paid for the season ticket stands and like just to get rid of their husbands yeah they're there all the time mm -hmm. regardless of hating the show that they're seeing hey what do you think the hobbies what are, what are their hobbies what do they like to do for fun old, old guys those two guys a lot of drooling oh come on take it seriously a lot of complaining I think probably mm -hmm. golf coffee wrong. what if they're like quite a bit of coffee those two guys the, the old guys are too they're really into like they uh, are too old to twist what's, their torsos what's that sport where it's like a handball ball. court but it's a tennis ball mm -hmm. what's that oh handball court but it's a tennis ball yeah pickleball sorry is the tennis ball hollow I don't know I think you mean a little rubber ball squash, like handball. No, remember in, in, the, in Toronto, in the gym, in our apartment, it had, like, courts for it? Mm-hmm. What was that? That's that's squash. Yeah. What if they're, like, really into Rackable. squash? That's a hard game. I know. Which is the comedy of 
these two old guys, but it, they like it, really sweat. It would a hundred percent kill them. <laughs> no, they're surprisingly fit. <laughs> <laughs> they have little ripped Muppet bodies. They're ripped. <laughs> yeah, but in Muppet, you know, like a puppet texture. Yeah. But just like ten pack abs. That's comedy. The pool, Jerry. So, so where's this going? Is this going on your YouTube channel? I have plus thinking. I'd follow a super boring drone video with a super boring um, uh, podcast. Is that going to be the name of your channel? Is this the super boring? boring show? Yeah, just like the Super Dave show. I love Super Dave. Nice He's that guy. <laughs> Plays the piano on top of a truck. I right. can't believe you would say that, Larry. <laughs> what? Man, I hope Curb's coming back again. Nine? No, no, no. They're up to like 11 or something. Really? I think so. Yeah, I, I hope Larry David never stops working. Because he could reach a point where he was just going to stay with him. Yeah, that's enough. I was surprised to see what he did. Jerry Seinfeld has this huge residency in Vegas. Yeah, he's at some big hotel like Caesars and his Well he's like doing like I think the appeal there I've heard people sort of talk about it and it's just like it's easy, it's fun, you're there for a month and then you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And it's uh it's good money to them huge they have huge uh, audiences that want well, yeah, to see I mean, a you're, show you're booked for a month essentially right <sighs> how's the salsa i'm gonna try to get this is the habanero salsa it's my favorite it's got so much flavor it's pretty hot but the flavor it's just just full body so makes me withstand the heat and I like this uh, the green verde as well so I, I'll mix in a little verde with the habanero and you know as an audiophile I'm terribly concerned about how this video is going to turn out we can see you know it's, it's not going to be like great it's not going to be I don't know but what would be useful is uh, they got these little handheld recorders, yeah, which are stereo. So right. they're like about the size of a phone, but then they mm -hmm. got two microphones, one pointing one way and one pointing the other way. And that you're actually going to get good sound, and you'll get stereo sound, so you'll be able to separate your voice from my voice. And mm -hmm. Like as an audio engineer, I could help you process it and yeah. get it sounding pretty good. This though, you have no control going to be mono. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, this is separated. a Sabor Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think it's a, just a classic song. I think a lot of people have covered it. Hmm. I'm familiar with the different version. It means taste of you. Taste of me. I don't know. Ah. Another concern with iPhone recordings is the wind. I might get a little wind in the, in the microphone. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not that concerned about. No, clearly. Sound clearly. <laughs> B 
be funny if on this podcast <laughs> it's called Aiden tries to connect with his dad it's just, it's just, the whole time it's me making jokes that you don't laugh at <laughs> yeah, that is funny I keep going am I right? <laughs> hey <laughs> it just never stops I'll be like the, I'll be the grumpy old man <laughs> you're just serious and down let's talk about you me. just hear the soul slowly drain out of my voice Listen in Maine. Listen in Maine. I'll just complain about politics and what the kids are up to these days. All right, hey, get off my lawn. Oh, right, right, right. right. <laughs> get off my lawn. <laughs> Mm. Has Clint Eastwood so ever done this is a the... role where he's not confident? No. You should get out of here. Maybe. Or not. <laughs> or stay. I don't, I don't mean anything by it. Maybe I'll leave. <laughs> I don't think this bit's working. Here, you can have my beer. <laughs> uh, clock. Yeah, give me that watch, too. Uh, okay. All right. It's that would family. Make, that would make my day. It's been passed through generations, but here you go. This watch. Why? I carried it with him for years. I was in a prison camp. He died of dysentery, but then I carried the watch. Fighters. Now we give it to you. I'm Christopher Walken. I'm gonna be in Dune as oh, the yeah. Emperor. That's so cool. I'm gonna be like Timothy. Why are you rebelling on Dune? This is terrible. <laughs> it's like, you're not the real Emperor, you're just doing an impression of the Emperor. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> you get to the top and the Emperor's Bill Hader. <laughs> what? Oh no, Lord how'd Michaels. You get, That'd be so here? much oh, better right. if the Emperor's oh, Lord Oh, Michaels. I swear to God. That would be so good. <laughs> I love that. The evil Emperor. <laughs> no. I can't do a Lord Michaels impression. And he's in a bathroom getting a pedicure. <sighs> He's the only one in a suit. <laughs> Everyone else is in clothing that fits the universe. Similarly, you could also have Dr. Evil as the Emperor. Am I alone here? Oh, you mean that? Uh... One billion. Uh... Right. <laughs> yeah. Mike Myers. Well, that was delicious. Would you say this is the best Mexican restaurant on the island? I mean, here we are sitting on the patio on a beautiful sunny day. This is just gorgeous. Yeah. Did you like the food, Mr. Pacino? What? <laughs> we had, oh yeah we had food yeah <laughs> what are you going to do after this what <laughs> sorry <laughs> I don't know fire department oh yeah I'm going to do a Safety inspector. You sure, he's just not coming here for a tackle? I don't look like a surprise safety inspector. I want to try your hot sauces. Reportedly, they're setting the place on fire. Oh, that's some hot sauce. Ah. <sighs>
What's that stuff from Game of Thrones that keeps on burning and burning? What? It's green fire. Oh, it's right. dragon fire or something? Yeah, it's called something like that. Yeah. It's essentially napalm of the old era. Yeah, right? but it glowed green somehow. Yeah. So I think they had some glow sticks. They something just fire. Mix in. Wildfire. That's uh, what it was. Like to try our wildfire salsa. Oh, see, he just got a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's doing something. He's got like some stick for. I think he's t testing the fire. He uses that stick to test the uh, sprinklers. <laughs> so, what do you want to do after this? This is the second time you've asked that question, and they still don't know. Comes right down to the pier. Okay. I'm just gonna look out and go ah. Ah. Now that's a beautiful view. Well, isn't it? And then go back in the car. That's what we're <laughs> Are you all done? But I'll do it with Should you. We go? Uh, I'm still enjoying this this pineapple soda. Oh. Yeah, I'm in no hurry. Just relax in here. So I heard uh, at the <laughs> I heard at the rap you had to give a, you had Start to vomiting. give a goodbye speech. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> It's your, it's your uh, final scene. You gave a little... Steve talked about how great you were to work with for four seasons, and then... Oh, I'm amazing. You got up. I'm fed. <laughs> I had to give a speech about how great it was to work with the crew. Yeah. Could you recap some of that for us right now? No, I feel, <laughs> feel uncomfortable just thinking about it. <laughs> well, I, I will say there's a lot of social anxiety wrapped up in trying to well, sort of be inside out in front of a bunch of people. Yeah, I'm sure it's awkward for And it, you know, it's, a, it's such a surreal thing anyway of like, you know, that's a chapter of your life being there for like five years or six or whatever. But everyone wants a good speech, you know? Well, yeah, that's that's the social pressure. Oh, right. Everyone's I'm just there. saying like it's, it's a lot of things at once. There's that, but there's also it being surreal and then you trying to encapsulate five years of your life in this words. Right. I think they want tears. They, they want you to break down and cry and say, oh my God. This has been the most meaningful experience of my life. You know, which... I like to do that after shooting has. a good commercial. Yeah. This has really meant a lot to me. And, uh... Look forward to seeing you in the next Tostitos, uh... Commercial. It's just tough, you yeah, know. Yeah. I didn't feel like I, I was done. My subconscious still thought I was coming into work the next day. Yeah. There's a lot of denial when you have situations. Well, not that denial. I just my subconscious didn't realize it yet. Yeah, that's what I mean. By I denial. rarely it's feel like things hard when they're to... happening. I feel them later on or way before. Yeah. Well, like when we were flying home, couldn't really believe it until we were home for three days. <laughs> I, I it started to get surreal when we packed up the apartment. That's when I was like, oh, we are leaving. Okay. You know, at the same time, just glad to be home. Yeah. You know? There's no place like home. It's true. And I'll miss that, but if I associate myself too much with that chapter of my life, it's no way to live. It's no way to move forward. Like, I'm about to turn 20, and hopefully in the grand scheme of life, 
you know, those 20 years are just a chapter. And to me, it's massive because it's all I have right now. But ultimately in life, it's just one page in the book. Yeah. So. Zero to ten. You can't let you yourself face, get to. Ten to twenty. Like, you have to appreciate it for what it is, but you can't see that as like, oh shit, what do I do now? You just gotta keep living. Yeah. I'll miss it, but I'm also excited to see where life goes. I don't know where it's gonna go. Well, you're working on your album. Why are you becoming an interviewer personality? Come on. I'm trying to keep this moving. Lift the veil. <laughs> keep it moving. There's, there's no structure to this. So far, you've given me nothing. You're trying to give... Given, <laughs> you've given me nothing. I went I out to nothing, lunch with you, didn't I? <laughs> nothing to work with here. I didn't know there was going to be It's going to be the lowest podcast. rated podcast of all time. Hey, I was man. hoping for some kind of dirt. This is why people edit podcasts and can do you, it in a can studio. Can you tell me something really nasty about anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Some real dirt. Like, who do you really hate? Tell, tell me who you really hate. It's got to be someone. Luigi. And, and tell me why. Well. Who's this Luigi? He, he seems he, jealous of Mario. Is he head of photography on the show? No, he's the brother of Mario. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and Mario Kart, they're always like throwing banana on the road and stuff. Where are they getting all those bananas? Yeah. They're just probably, carrying around bananas? Probably carrying around banana peels in the back of them. All right, let's get in the car. Also, why is Mario <laughs> never dirty after getting out of the Mario. I'd like to go down this time. Right? How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I want to get some audio of the car door opening plug. I think that'd be really cool. Thank you. Adios. Yeah. All right. Shall I play some copyrighted music? <laughs> God, no. I'm just going to use uh, Jack Black's uh... Peaches from the Mario movie. Peaches, 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 peaches. Wow. Well, I love you. Yeah. You know that song? Mm, yeah. I think now would be a good time to end it. <laughs> <laughs> How about now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Come on. Hey, what happens if I hit this red button?